Well, as we're aware, at its peak, the COVID-19 shutdown in Canberra stopped all sports because of social distancing restrictions. While most clubs and competitions are now back up and running, some have taken a bit longer. And today, to Canberra's north, the local club returned to action in spectacular fashion. The ACT Hang Gliding and Paragliding Association is in many ways like every other sporting group in our region. They used to meet regularly and then suddenly they couldn't. Today they came together for their first meeting since the shutdown in a location that just made obvious sense. It's been really good to get everyone out and you saw we got a reasonable turnout this week. So we decided to do one out where we go and fly. One of several locations where they fly is Spring Range, around half an hour north of Canberra's CBD, where on the property of a long-term flying attic sits one of the more significant peaks in the area. Well, I used to be a pretty keen surfer. I moved to Canberra and uh, not much surf here. And uh, I thought, oh, I might give Anglodon a go. And the first time I ran down a training slope and that wing lifted me off the ground, I was hooked. And there was plenty of wind around today, although eventually it was a bit too much for the paragliders. Yeah, it's super fun. It's like being in a washing machine, being knocked all over the place. But you've got to make really fine use of all the tiny little bubbles of air. Right now is our probably our least flyable time because the winds get stronger over this time of the year. But all the way through winter we can fly and all the way through summer we can fly. For the hang gliders, the conditions were spot on and they found themselves with a regular companion. To be in the air, and we have a couple of wedges around here that fly with me pretty regularly. They're just fantastic. They're just, to be, it's just flying in their element. It's just hard to describe. It's just a beautiful experience. The association uses a number of takeoff sites around the region, including Lanyon to the south and Lake George to the east. But for most, this cheapest and most accessible form of aviation means that the location almost always runs second to the thrill of flying itself. Nothing better than to walk off the ground, fly up and touch one of those clouds up there. It's just to do that, to get up there, just touch a cloud and come back down on a piece of cloth. <laughs> what could be better than that? Brett McKay, ABC News, Spring Range.